You are now listening to the Car Lifestyle Podcast. With host Seth Rose from Exotics Rally. Elizabeth White from It's White Noise. Car Lifestyle. Hello, Car Lifestyle Podcast. Uh, we are live today at the North American International Auto Show, live from the Nissan Executive Lounge. How nice. And in case you haven't noticed, Liz has been introducing all the podcasts because I just can't seem to remember where the hell we are. I know. It's really actually hard to say North American International Auto Show. And you do it so well. Oh, <laughs> say that three times fast. But today I have Seth. What's up, guys? We are back. And we are joined with some amazing, I want to call you millennials, but is that okay? Can I call you millennials? Anything you want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These are some amazing young people here we found at Nissan. Great. So we have Nicole Fonseca. She is a senior color designer. And we have Dan Jimenez, who is the exterior designer here at Nissan. So welcome. Thank you. Hey. It's great to have you guys on the podcast. Uh, you know, from time to time, we interview people from uh, different manufacturers. Uh, this is going to be our actual first one with Nissan. Um, so we are here at the auto show, and we understand that there was a vehicle that was recently unveiled. Was it yesterday, I'm assuming? Yes. And uh, why don't you tell us a little about that and a little about your background? Who wants to go? They're looking at each Daniel's other. Daniel's going to start. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a tennis match. We're going to bounce off of each other. Why don't we start with Daniel? Daniel, where did you uh, grow up and what got you into the car business? Yeah, so I, I grew up in New Jersey, um, just a couple of minutes away from New York City. Um, and I went to school at Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California. Um, I went there right after high school, kind of drove cross country and just started studying automotive design. Um, That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you wash your way right in. <laughs> But uh, I, I don't know, I, in, in, uh, as a kid, I loved art, I loved sculpture. My family, they're all race car drivers, they, 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 um, they're drag racers. Really? Um, Interesting. I was a one kid that didn't like cars in the beginning. Well, Jersey has and, a couple of drag racers. So. <laughs> yes, they do, English yeah, Town. English Town. Um, there's also in, uh, one Pennsylvania. in Virginia mm -hmm. that we always used to go to. Um, but eventually, I don't know, car design is kind of, it's everything. It's fashion design, it's architecture. It's engineering. It's ev everything put together in one in, in one melting pot. So um, this is that's why I, I decided to go in that field. Um, mm -hmm. But today, yesterday, we we unveiled our uh, V Motion 2.0 concept with Nissan, and uh, this vehicle is kind of uh, in, um, a future vision to our next design language. It's purely a design concept, um, and this is to basically to to show where we're going to target in the next couple of years. So tell us a little about it. It's a uh, it's a passenger sedan. Correct. Okay. And uh, what's the power plant? Uh, what, the it's, pu power it's, plant? it's purely <laughs> purely a design concept. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it's not functional whatsoever. It is functional, um, but I think it's more. To, uh, we want to focus more on the vision. We don't want to see what's under the hood right now. Mm -hmm. We're also um, we're looking into. Uh, how do we visually communicate our new Nissan Intelligent Mobility, which is um, a fragrance of our ProPilot technology, which is autonomous driving? So a lot of cars actually are are designed as a regular vehicle with autonomous, but what does it look like to be purely autonomous? Mm -hmm. So this is it's an interesting key, uh, design cue to put in. So are you responsible for the exterior, interior, everything? Or? Exterior. 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 We have another designer. We have we all collaborate together. Mm -hmm. We all we're in a very small studio. We, we we go out for some coffee, we talk, we sketch, we argue, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sketches on napkins and cafes. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably more on the wrist or <laughs> So what was your inspiration for the design of this car? The inspiration, actually, uh, initially, we, we actually, um, in our area for the studio, we're in a military base. Um, so there's a no-fly zone. So we constantly, like every 30 minutes, we have, you know, uh, F-20 Raptors just wow. raging uh, above our ceilings. And in the middle of a, of a video conference, you know, the, the building's shaking. And, but um, so actually, it was, it was kind of natural to, to have an aeronautical sense to it. Um, we didn't really look into military jets, but it was more the idea of like futuristic. What would the, the, the future of private jets look like on a car? Um, everyone says, well, why don't you have flying cars yet? That's a private jet. Right. You just right, take off yeah. the wheels. It's the same thing. It's a capsule that flies around. A car is just stationed on the ground. Um, it uses gravity to its advantage. And um, so the idea was it was inspired by uh, modern architecture and also modern, the idea of uh, futuristic private jets. And a lot of it is also very fashion driven. Interior, like uh, Nicole, um, 
it's it's just it's a fashion show in there. <laughs> it's a fashion that you use every day. Exactly. It's it's functional fashion. It's beautiful. It's durable. Um, it looks good. You're, you're you're proud to you know if this car is a valet car. If you got it valeted, you're you'll hand the keys with confidence. That's amazing because. I would never want to wear the same thing every single day, but <laughs> you have to drive the same car mostly every single day. It's like a suit. You just wear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep Yesterday in and it. today, the same suit. <laughs> so what's the actual technical name of the V? Of the v concept? Motion 2.0. V Motion 2.0. So V Motion is actually, it was originally, uh, well, it still is our, our key design signature in the front. You'll see uh, a beautiful chiseled V grill. Um, but this time we wanted to call it 2.0 to show the next step. Uh, it's not, it's no longer a two dimensional form. It's three dimension and it resonates throughout the car. It starts a lot of the, it, it, you'll see some of the cues throughout the interior, the exterior. Um, if you watch the, the press release video, there's a lot of cool little, little, uh, Easter eggs in there showing kind of how we designed it. And, and how long was the design process from, uh, beginning to end exactly a year exactly a year. yeah we started we actually started uh, looking at the packaging and what's the design brief about in December of last year take us through the design process what do you start with do you start with sketches do you start with another car and build off of that to be honest with you um maybe Nicole's uh, uh, can, can answer this but we we started off with one person yeah so, so we created <laughs> an ideal customer and so we kind of create the car and it happened to be this empowered female and we really wanted her to have this like car that functioned for her everyday lifestyle but she still fe felt sexy and felt like it worked in her everyday di very dimensional life. So we created this woman called Nika and she was an entrepreneur, a single mother, but also was very social and she was super stylish. So we kind of started with her and then from that, <laughs> we started sketching and these guys started and I started pulling materials and getting ideas and it's really like we collaborate from the very very beginning but it starts with this who's our ideal customer and who do we want the end product to speak to it is true there is 51% of us on this planet right <laughs> why thank um, God <laughs> <laughs> so why do not um, why don't manufacturers focus more on the female yeah so that's basically the concept of this car was we really wanted I mean of course we want it to be a, 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 a like very appropriate for men and women but we really wanted her to find her voice in this car and even in the materials that we picked the colorways we wanted it to express like we're thinking about you too mm -hmm. the interesting thing about that also is that uh, it's not a Barbie car um, everyone thinks, oh, female car has to be right, girl, yeah, pink, this pink, and that. Yeah. No, I mean, somebody that is very powerful, you know, career focused, uh, family oriented, um, they have taste. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it doesn't have to be pink everywhere. I mean, it, it's great um, to have a uh, personal flair, but this is, I, I, it was interesting because from the very beginning, um, I mean, the whole, our whole studio is very, the, the ratio is, it's, it's a male driven industry. And um, to have, uh, uh, focused on, on empowered women and also having Nicole in the group to kind of she, she is kind of our buyer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is very interesting so um, she was she had a very strong voice throughout the, the, the design process and it was interesting to kind of keep resonant kind of uh, putting out sketches and this and that and and having her direct feedback and I think that's why the, the vehicle was so successful so what our listeners cannot see is Nicole is very va fashionable. <laughs> and <Thank> immediately, <laughs> the very first thing I noticed when she walked in is her fingernails. <laughs> Thank so, you. So being a color designer, you are telling me how interesting it is to work even through your nail process. Yeah, it's kind of fun because I went to school for fashion design, but I'm from Detroit, so I have a passion for automotive, and this career has really given me the opportunity to blend the two. And I get a lot of inspiration by creating um, colorways and doing my nails. So I sit for hours. These guys are like, you have new nails every week. But it's how it's very therapeutic for me, and it's how I get inspired. So I look at different colors, the technologies, the pigments that go into the colors, and what colorways look good together. So it gives me a lot of like drive and inspiration. So listeners that are male, there are hundreds of different brands of nail polishes and hundreds of different colors. So when you're thinking about 
your exterior wrap or paint of your car, it would just be a suggestion that you could just go to the nail salon and look it's at not them. Bad. I really never thought about it that way. You know, I guess most men just say, all right, what color am I going to pick? And that's it. There's not much thought process involved when you're buying the car because there's a limited amount of colors. But I guess there's much more involved when you're designing the color, you know. Absolutely. The V Motion 2.0, the exterior body color is, I mean, it took 100 trials to get that color correct. And, and, we, and what is that color? Literally. So it's, it's <laughs> What kind of fancy really, name does it have? <laughs> we named it Sexy Silver Copper. Not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's called Silver Copper, but we kind of didn't name Sexy that. Silver Copper. Yes. <laughs> SSC. Yes. Yeah. So what we did was it actually starts with a black base. It's a liquid silver and layers of uh, tinted copper over. So it takes an excellent painter, and it's actually very similar to painting your nails. And that's what gives it this dynamic shift in copper hue as you walk around the structure so my job is to make daniel's lines look even more beautiful and because a very good job at he that. gives me the palette <laughs> and then i put the color on it and just it's the cherry on the top how many how many tries does it take have you was literally it, it was 100 trials 100, 100 actually 101 yeah. because the car was 101 yeah. trials. it was 100 there was yes. panels everywhere okay. the thing door that, panels small panels yes. paint panels so they paint just, them they strip them down they paint yes. them strip them yeah down. They're, they're, there's huge door I mean, panels. I'm assuming you don't have a hundred models. <laughs> no, 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 no. So we, you know, we paint small little paint panels, then we go larger, and then we do like a door panel to see it scaled up. Of course, we visualize it in a computer, but that's not the real thing. Right. So we just keep spraying and spraying. And everybody's spraying. brightness is different on every yeah. screen, and you can't yeah. go by that. We we deal with that all. And time. every painter is different, yeah. so right. it's working the paint, yeah. with the painter and having developing the paint with him. It's it's an awesome process. It's very tedious. But it's awesome. It's interesting because that, that car is actually, uh, when you spray it at a different angle, it turns into a different color. Mm -hmm. So there's such, mm -hmm. there's such precision going into it. And that was one of kind of the, the, the areas that, we, that's why it was painted so many times. Because every time, if you were off a, a degree, the whole car turned a different color. And that's the beauty of the car. It's kind of like the borderline of pure precision. So when, but once you have the formula down, is it much easier to uh, duplicate or? No, this is, I mean, this isn't, it's not easy to duplicate. That's what makes it so special. Yes. And that's what makes it so concept. It's, you know, we really want to give a one of a kind. Eventually, we hope to introduce colors like this right. in production. Of course, it will never but be But it's really the not same. practical to be selling this color. Not r in reality, because, right. yeah, close. production is hard. But we right. can very, get very there close. close. Very close. Yeah, that's warm silver hue. We can get there. I mean, we're talking, though metal and plastic and carbon fiber and different even types of materials you're painting on. Yes. Wow, that's just... It's interesting. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of our listeners, they don't understand what goes into building of a car and the, okay. and the production. And, right. You know, they like to get in, turn the key and go. And they don't understand actually what goes into it. So it's a good inside look at uh, at the paint process. Yeah, it's very it's very interesting. And the, and the key thing is that, I mean, whenever you look at a nail polish bottle, you know, when you when you... When you take out the, the top and you look at it, I'm like, wow, this this paint is beautiful. But you put it on the nails and it looks completely different. Mm -hmm. The idea was to capture kind of that that liquid when you're pulling it out. And you're like, wow, this is a beautiful color. Exactly. And if you look around the car, you put it inside, outside, um, and, and it, as it's turning, it just looks so beautiful, the color. It just, it turns different hues. Um, it's almost, it's, it's like a frozen liquid in motion. Was this hand sprayed by a person or oh, yeah. robots? Oh, no, hand no, no, no. <laughs> hand sprayed by a person and this they is did a custom the entire car yes. themselves yeah wow, wow. That must and be all, all the hundred and hundred test panels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. tricky now i noticed it's a pretty big car what would you compare it to size wise it's bigger than a maximum i'm assuming yes um it's so the the overall length of the uh, the uh, the wheelbase actually is is quite large mm -hmm. uh, your typical sorry to get nerdy but um it's the the wheelbase is about 2900 millimeters the overall car is 4900 millimeters um it's 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 a big car to, to drive around right. um personally driven it around the studio it's 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 uh it, it is a big car but the thing is that it's 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 kind of like your your living space 
Um, it's very large in the interior. The interior, but, right, right. but the footprint is not so large. The interior to be honest seems with pretty big, and I saw that you designed it with the suicide doors in yes, the back. Yes. And is that just purely for design, or no? It's functional? pure functional because the the thing is that with concept cars, people tend to slam. You know, the the cabin. It's very. You walk in, you hit your head. No, this car is completely functional in that respect. This is when you walk in your house. You don't want to hit your head on on the on the yeah. ceiling. You I want to sit down. I had a Mercedes CLS for about a month because of that. I cracked uh, my head on nonstop yeah. and a Ford GT as well. And there's a lot of production. I mean, this car is purely you. You can go in and out with no problem. You sit in it. It feels airy. You don't feel claustrophobic. Um, the cabin is all seat. I mean, a lot of glass around us. And it's kind of when, when you're walking in into even um, the, the the Kobo Center, you know, there's glass everywhere. You see the, the, the beautiful sky and, well, today it's snowing, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's very airy. It's very, very airy. Yeah, it's true. We really wanted this to be an extension of Nika's living space. So we wanted her to feel comfortable in the interior and flow from her house into the car and have this seamless lifestyle. Can't the car, like the pod, just go into her house, pick her up, and then start transferring her to wherever? Maybe someday. We actually <laughs> had, uh, we did um LA design challenge about two years ago. I was involved with it, and it was uh, branded Infinity. Oh. And uh, because we both work on, uh, well, the, our studio is Nissan and Infinity, um, and actually the concept was exactly that. So if you if you Google it, it was a, uh, <laughs> it was actually a pod, Real and that Jetsons. that started it, when when it was open. I'm sorry, I don't want to get into it, but it was basically a, a pod that was a piece of furniture, and then it started, um, it, it goes into a, into an airplane, into an off-road vehicle, or a luxury car. So that is something that, you know, we have studied, and it's pretty cool. And I think a lot Future. of this, th this is kind of, um, in, a, in a very uh, simple way, it's kind of like that, the interior. Module, yeah. It, it's this feeling, you know, it, it's, a, it's furniture inside a vehicle. Now, th this car was designed with the premise of being an autonomous car, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Where do you see it going in the future, autonomous? Well, the primarily we know as car enthusiasts, <laughs> as people that like to drive, but yet face the harsh realities of L.A. traffic, um, you do want that balance, as in everything. You know, you if you like to cook, you will cook, but there's days you want to just go to a restaurant and just lay back and have somebody serve you. And this is the same idea. Mm -hmm. um, in, a, in an age of where we can get uh, uh, any type of object from Amazon the same day, sure. we, want, we want that accessibility. If, if you're feeling a little tired or you, you, you just want, you want to relax, you want the car, it's, it's a, actually, it's, it's a very luxurious feeling to have a car drive you around and then have a smart um, interface that actually talks to you. Um, it, it's, it's actually really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Initially, a lot of people are scared of this, this autonomous technology, but... Yeah, well, it, it's frightening to a lot. It's uh, well, it's, it's certainly not proven yet. Right. Um, well, actually, our Infinity Q60 and Q50 offer mm -hmm. for the past three three years. They they've been semi autonomous. Semi, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I we we when we went to um, LA a couple days ago, I didn't touch a steering wheel for eighty miles. Scary. <laughs> uh, I was like this. I was. It was hovering. It's frightening for but, me. I mean, but to I'm be honest, after stuff. a while, I was just like, "All right, cool." I'm like, I just sat there. I was looking around. I was talking with my wife, and it was it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. And this is stuff. I mean, if you if you watch the CES um, uh, mm -hmm. demonstration, Carlos Ghosn was was driving around in a Q50, and the thing was was driving itself completely through intersections and everything. And until you try it, you're hooked. <laughs> you don't want to drive anymore. <laughs> okay, I love driving. Yeah. I yeah. drive a lot. But I'm very excited about autonomous cars and vehicles because there's the multitasking factor and yes. a computer can ride the bumper of another car. Yes. So instead of me sitting there and checking my phone and then the people behind me beeping the horn saying, go, the lights turned green, the car will just go for yes. you. And so instead of five cars getting through a light, you're at 10 cars getting through a light. And people are worried about, well, autonomous cars might not be as fast. But they can almost get you there faster because the human element isn't there. So you don't have to worry about changing lanes or, I mean, well, I'm, imagine, lanes. imagine. <laughs> so if you go on a roller coaster, every time you go on it, it has a, a pre. It, everything's programmed perfectly, and you get the experience a hundred percent. 
Now, if it was completely human operated, you know, they were controlling the speed throughout the whole time, it'd be different every time. So、mm-hmm. the thing is that autonomous drive could do in a performance standpoint is always give you the max. Imagine you're going through a, a Formula One track with, a, with a, one of our vehicles and every time it hits that apex, just like a, a F1 driver.、Mm-hmm. And you're, you're basically going through that experience. It's like a video game. It's on. Boring. No, it's not. <laughs> trust, trust me, when you're in a GTR and the thing's raging through and you're, you're,、yeah. your face is plastered to the, to the seats, I mean, it's really fun. <laughs> you gotta leave room for error, otherwise. But then you can take it over and you can try、it. to compete with the system. That's、mm-hmm. something else.、Yeah. That, and、yeah. then it'll make you a better driver. Well, I can tell you firsthand, I had a GTR for three years and that was scary in race mode. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun. They're fun. Yeah, really. And、right? they give you a lot of tickets. Yeah.、Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> put my license in a food there processor. There was a silence there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have 72 moving violations throughout the country. <gasps> oh, man. But none in New York, and I have a valid driver's license, but no points. <sighs> wow. Because points are quite decorated. New York. <laughs> <laughs>、yeah. I've only been pulled over twice, and I've only received one ticket. It was a bad one, but <laughs> yeah, I normally run a bunch of radar and laser detectors and、mm, everything else, ways and、yeah. walkie talkies. So, so, you guys are out of California? Yes. Right? What part? San Diego. San Diego? Right next to La Jolla. Okay, so I'm sure you guys, I'm, I'm assuming you're driving some sort of Nissan Infinity product? Of course. So, what、yeah. do you guys drive? I'm actually driving a Rogue at the moment, which I really love. It's, it's nice and compact for those tiny spaces in California, but it's, it's really kind of great for traffic. And I love the space when I want to have space, but it's small enough that I feel like I can get around. I've at, ordered three in a row. I kind、wow. of am digging it. I was tempted to get a Sentra, but then I decided to go back with the Rogue. So that's what I'm driving right now. So I'm, I'm sure the Rogue Sport is in your future. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I love the new orange、fun. color.、Yeah. So I'm a big orange fan. So I'm, I'm thinking. Your, is, orangey is, glass? Is that you are? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I have an, another orange color coming out、um, later. But that one's not mine. But I really like it. I think it's cool and sporty and it's fun. Fun to drive.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, I, we, we, a, we have a leasing program for、yeah. employees. So I just gave back my,、um, the, the Nismo Z. Okay.、Oh, um, nice. Nismo 370Z.、Mm-hmm. And that was fun. fun. <laughs> <Yeah> . Especially <laughs> in San Diego, it's, there's, not、so、much, there's not too much traffic. And、um, that car is just amazing. I love the car. I just gave it back. And、um, right now I'm driving a, a current year Juke. And to be honest with you, that's also very fun in its own way. It's,、um, I don't have to worry about speed bumps anymore.、Um, it, 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 <laughs> there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things where I'm still driving, like, oh, I have to angle into the,、uh, in, into the driveway. driveway. I'm like,、yeah. no, I don't have to do anywhere.、Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, in that sense, it's a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not the Juke GTR, but no. That would be fun.、Yeah. Actually, and then I, I just got my mom a, a, a Nismo Juke manual. Oh, cool.、Uh, and she、yeah. loves that thing. Yeah. Yeah,、that、it's fun. It's so fun. Should teach your mom to drive it on the two wheels. Like oh, like in、guy. Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might、What、be useful、do? in New Jersey. <laughs> 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 so, what, what's the next big project? Something that can be spoken of? or? Whew, we just got finished with this one, so. This was a year project. Yeah.、I、But mean, we already started on the next one. And,、yeah. um, can you speak about it or? It's under wraps. No, yeah, unfortunately.、Okay. It's, it's future stuff, but we promise we it's going to be kick ass. And I think this、yeah. will resonate through our, our product lineup,、yeah. whether、um, it be concept or production. And、um, it was fun.、Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anything anybody wants to add? No, I've just been sitting here. This is. One of my favorite interviews so far. <laughs> oh, that's, a, is, that's killer. This is very stress r e l i e v e r y relaxing. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's what our listeners like. I feel like there's not a camera in here. <laughs> no, secretly. No cameras at all. Awesome. But、uh, that was a great look into the design process.、Um, our listeners are always you know, curious as to what actually goes into making the vehicles that they're all driving.、Um, you know, we're car enthusiasts ourselves, and、uh, you know, I don't know much about it. I haven't been to that many factories you know, to see it myself. But.、Um, Yeah, so that was very cool. The,、uh, the concept looks great. Thank you. The Thank paint you. looks phenomenal. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to have to go check it out again just to、yeah. make sure. You've yeah, seen it all, to, every angle. You have to check out the copper and the inside because it's one of the themes and it just, I think it really it makes. I, it'll, yeah, it's it's just some wood <laughs> also on the inside, right? The, yeah, so s- one of the elements we wanted to bring is this like really natural wood. So we、yeah. actually use、um, zebrano wood on the flooring and on the interior, <laughs> like the door panel and the inside. So it's really beautiful. It kind of balances the whole thing together. 
So cool. you got to go check it out. And I, um, it, it would be good if you, everyone gets to see the, the Nissan video um, on YouTube. We have kind of a sneak peek into the design oh, process. Oh, into this. Yeah, cool. and it's actually Amazing. very interesting. I mean, the car, I mean, every every car on the road is designed with clay. And it's actually kind of cool that on one of the models that we show um, in the video was actually, a, a lot of times they, they just uh, mill out a model and it's kind of, it's not um, other companies, maybe it's not the actual in progress, but we actually have in progress there's stuff that we're six months in three months in yeah you can see i'm painting you look at the model and you can see oh that was the the initial uh scale so that, that's on model. youtube yes, yes. On so YouTube, we'll put the sure. link on, yeah, yeah. Yeah. on yeah. nissan's new uh, newsroom um yeah. they have there's a couple of videos actually on this vehicle and it's actually really fun to see um with the doors opening in action and and kind of getting a breath of how it looks outside the car photographs beautifully outside kind of makes the concept feel real yes Yes. Not just a cardboard box that you guys are putting out yeah. there. <laughs> no, we really wanted to give something that is realistic. You know, sometimes you see concept cars and they're just so far out there. Oh, but yeah. we really wanted to show you what is going to be coming down the future for us. Well, that's why the first thing I asked was, is it a working model? Because it looks like it is. It, it, you know, oh, it drives. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. it's nerve-wracking to drive it, but it drives. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to tweak a few things. <laughs> So very cool. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much yeah, for having us. Auto thank show. you. Um, before we end, we would like to ask if you guys have like an Instagram or something you would like to let our listeners know that they can follow you at. Sure. I'm at Nicole Fonseca Jewelry on Instagram. She has her own jewelry line. It's beautiful. I do. Wow. I design and actually, jewelry the rings too. Are beautiful. Wow. They're all very vibrant and yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's cool. It, it's really a mix of my automotive and I have a really good passion for leather. So it's um, gold and leather. So awesome. check it out. Yeah. And then um, obviously follow Nissan on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, my Instagram, uh, it, it's. Um, D uh, underscore Matone. It's D E E underscore M A T T O N E. And then, um, yeah, this is Instagram just focuses on design. Yeah. Eyes through a designer's eyes. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Instagram through a designer's eyes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you again for joining us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you know, more concepts in the future. Car lifestyle. <laughs>